My name is Ed Hooks, and um, uh, we moved here from uh, my wife and I, Callie. Uh, we moved uh, to Lisbon from Los Angeles uh, six years ago. What, what made you move to Lisbon? Ah, you want to go to heaven, don't you? Uh, <laughs> well, we got to be. We wanted another exciting chapter in our lives. And um, and uh, Lisbon is uh, just one of the best places in the world to be. So we're real happy to be here. What were you doing in Los Angeles? <laughs> well, I've been in the entertainment industry for uh, probably 50 years. I uh, was, uh, like several of the actors, I was trained in New York. and uh, but But eras before them. I, I came into acting in 1969, and uh, I uh, went to, to, to school in New York. I did many plays in New York and commercials. Then I went to Los Angeles. I've, I was an actor. Uh, I acted in, I don't know, probably a hundred TV shows and in, in uh, uh, supporting roles and whatnot. Give me, uh, give me, give me three. Ah, Murder, She Wrote. Oh, Angela Lansbury. Yeah, it was great. I had scenes with, uh, with Angela Lansbury. Rest in peace. It was wonderful. Uh, she's uh, Angela Lansbury, my heart. Um, and uh, Golden Girls, uh, Knight Rider. My favorite. Ah, uh, there you go. So, uh, sure. I, most of the shows I've, uh, I managed to work on. I was a working character actor. And I was a teacher. I had uh, acting studios in Los Angeles and also uh, one in San Francisco. Uh, and uh, in 1996, I started teaching acting theory to animators. Uh, I wrote a book. I've written several books. Uh, I wrote a book called Acting for Animators and developed a master class. So I've now taught for Disney and DreamWorks and uh, most of the major video, video game companies. So it's been Mr. Toad's wild ride for me. How did you get into directing? I've been directing. I directed in, in, in L.A. I directed in San Francisco. I've directed a number of plays and a couple of films, uh, shorter film, short films. Um, and uh, Suresh invited me. Uh, it was as simple as that. And uh, so this is the second production I've directed here. Uh, right before COVID hit, I directed a Harold Pinter play called The Lover. And uh, uh, that went quite well. And so I said, well, let's, let's do it again. And, uh, and here we are. You don't get better material than, uh, than no exit. Tell so me about this. Tell me about this play as somebody who knows well, nothing about it. Well, this is existentialism, uh, as you know. Jean-Paul Sartre the, presented this philosophy largely through this play. Uh, and uh, his vision of hell is that each of us, uh, we try to, we do what we do in order to create an impression so we view our own selves through the eyes of other. That's what it means when you say hell is other people. There's not really a fire and brimstone hell, not that kind of hell. Uh, Sartre was a, uh, a, 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 an atheist, and he believed you, you're born, you die, and what you do, what you do is, how, is what you are, <laughs> And what you do is largely determined by the effect that you have on people. We present to the world how we want to be perceived. The characters in this play all have to discover their hidden selves. Their hidden selves. That's the arc of this play. They come in with one narrative, and during the course of the play, they discover and come to terms with their other narrative, and that they will spend forever, these three, together in this room. That's hell. Other people. And what has the cast, what's the cast like to work with? Well, they're wonderful, of course. That's why I cast them. 
It's, <laughs> you know, we're uh, very fortunate. We've got an international cast. We've got uh, the best of the best here. And uh, I am, for a director, that's three quarters of the battle. I'll tell you the truth. It's in casting. It's the rest of it. You just stand there, your eyes, you try to tell them what you're seeing. It's their show. It's their show.